It is way too cold for us Floridians today. 57 degrees and it is 12 o'clock. That's crazy. It was like 40 degrees this morning. So today was a boat maintenance day for me. I came down here to one of our local boat ramps and uh, did some stuff to the trailer. In the meantime, I figured I film a very requested video. I see people asking all the time is how do you launch a boat by yourself? So behind me, I have my 18 foot um, center console bay boat. And I'm gonna show you guys how I personally launch it by myself most of the times when I go out. Um, it's a very simple and easy way. You could use this method for a lot larger boats as well. As well and that's what I like about it. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys learned something. If you guys have any suggestions of anything I should do differently, please drop it down in the comments below. But let's get right into it, let's go. All right guys, so to get started, I always walk up to the bow of the boat and release the safety chain. This is something you don't want to forget once the boat is in the water, so I always do it right off the bat. And I do not touch the winch strap. I leave that on until the boat is closer to the water. Next, you want to go back and check on the drain plug. I always like to check that a few times before I put the boat in the water. Here, I'm grabbing my two dock lines. I have two standard 15-foot dock lines. And what I'm going to do now is double them up. Um, the reason I double them up is because the way I launch the boat, I'm going to need a longer line. So as you can see, I grab the two loop ends and I put them within each other, come, uh, bringing them together basically. So as you can see right there, pretty simple. And once I tie them up, they are attached and they're not going anywhere. You could use other ways of doing this, tying the two um, loose ends together as well but this is the way i do it and it's easy for me to take them apart at the end of the day so now we walk up to the bow of the boat again we tie one end to the bow rail and then the other end we tie it somewhere near the the winch so anywhere in the front of the boat here near the winch where you could easily take it off that's where you want to tie it with a simple overhand knot as you can see, line is neatly stacked up and now we're ready to launch. All right, so as I line up the boat to launch it down the ramp, I always like to get the back end of the boat or the tires wet before I go and undo the winch strap. So once the boat is in a good position, I go ahead and undo the winch strap. Then I jump back in the truck, put it in reverse, and start back in the boat down the ramp. I like to look through my mirrors, and once the boat starts floating, I go ahead and stop and let the boat just float back. At this point, the boat will start floating back. I do have guide poles on my trailer, so it keeps it aligned. And then I pull out just enough to where I could go and grab that rope. So as you can see, I'm grabbing the rope, undoing the knot. And now I'm able to walk the boat down the dock and park it. So as you can see, this method is easy and simple. It allows you to launch the boat by yourself. In this particular boat ramp, it's empty. There's no other boaters here. So I'm able to just slide the boat to the side and dock it. If the boat ramp was busy, all you do is hop on the boat and drive it off to another dock. So now let's go ahead and pull the boat trailer out of the water and let's go ahead and do the retrieve. All right, so now to do the retrieve, pretty much the same concepts align when it comes to back in the boat. Down the ramp, I like to go ahead and put the boat trailer about halfway in the water. Um, each boat is different, so you need to figure out which works best for your boat. I like to look through the mirrors, and right when the tip of my fenders are exposed, that's when I know when to stop. So I go ahead and I ease the boat into the trailer very slow very steady i align it with the center of the trailer go ahead and enter the trailer and then i give it a little bit of gas just to bring it closer to that bow roller so once that boat is close enough to the bow roller i hop off the boat and then attach the winch strap and just start winching it up and cranking it up those few inches that are left you always want to make sure to attach that safety chain and then you can pull the boat nice and slow out of the water I always like watching on my mirrors and making sure everything looks good. 
all right guys so i hope you guys enjoyed that little video showing you guys how i launch and retrieve my boat when i'm by myself so solo launch solo retrieve it's something super easy something super simple a lot of people overcomplicate this part of boating which is launching your boat and retrieving it um and i see a lot of people struggling all the time when um they're out there at the ramps one thing i would suggest is if you're new to boating if you're new to launching a boat backing up a trailer or anything like that is come to an empty boat ramp like this one right here as you saw i didn't have anybody for the last hour that i was here doing stuff um i didn't have one guy like kind of just walking around but he's like in the neighborhood or whatever but no other boats showed up so it made it easy and simple to just uh kind of do my thing and that's the important thing when you're learning just finding a place where it's empty where you could make as many mistakes as you can and uh, just learn from them um, you don't want to go to a busy boat ramp for the first time and try to launch your boat there when there's a hundred people waiting for you or something like that it could get very um, crazy so yeah guys if this video was of any help please go ahead and share it with your friends and family or anybody that's getting into boating um, like I said the entire purpose of this video was to hopefully help some of you guys that are getting into boating um, learn how to launch your boat by yourself and retrieve it by yourself um, yeah so thank you guys once again for watching hope you guys are enjoying the videos and until next time I'll see you guys in the next video let's go